Hello and welcome to my next video. Today I am working on another collage piece and I'm just starting with some basic papers I have in my stash and just getting a first layer down. I'm using a very heavy, I think it's about 160 pound multimedia paper. So it can handle a lot of weight and papers and color and water. So I'm just getting these first couple pieces down and I'm using a liquid medium. It is um, gloss. It's a gloss liquid medium and I'm just putting it underneath and on top to kind of create a consistent look as well as give a good, um, I guess just adherence to the paper. Because I find when I put it on top, it definitely helps it stay flat better and doesn't wrinkle as much. So here's a little piece of jelly paper that I made on um, using my jelly plate, but putting it on deli paper. <laughs> I said jelly paper. Um, and these are just little prints that I made on my jelly plate that I'm just trying to bring some color into the piece. And I also love the transparency of them because it kind of gives a little color without too big of a commitment, but creates a little interest. So next I put a little black, Mars black, and put a little white in there so it wasn't quite so black. And I can tend to paint kind of fast and I'm trying to slow down. So I was just kind of rolling my paintbrush around giving it a little different color, some marks, some drips, just seeing what happens on the piece. A lot of my painting is just experimenting, trying things out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but you never know until you try. So just rolling these colors around, different variations of the Mars black with the white. It's kind of lighter in some areas, darker in others. I'm a big fan of the drips, so I like to let it drip down. And then just removing a little bit of it. I try not to get the paper too wet because then it does buckle sometimes. So my normal pattern is to give a little white on top of the collage papers so that they're not quite so pronounced, but this time I did a color first. So I was kind of blending the white, it's titanium white with the black. Creates a little shade of gray in some areas. And just kind of creating some space to maybe put some different marks. Again, just kind of following my intuition, not getting too excited about anything in particular. I find when I get too precious about something, then I try not to paint over it, and then it creates some fears of messing it up. And we have to kind of let go of that idea that you're going to mess it up in mixed media because things are always changing. So these are some of the stencils I have. And I was thinking about putting some marks there. I'm using a sponge to kind of blot the color in. If I were to do this again, I would probably use a darker color yellow because it didn't show up quite as dark as I would have liked it, but it gave a nice little mark. I do like that stencil. Just kind of getting some movement on the page. That's a great sponge. It's like one of those natural sponges and it rinses out real easy. So next I wanted to use this pink to kind of bring some different color to it and maybe some different shapes. Just kind of having fun with the paint, not thinking too much about what I'm doing. And 
then putting down some white dots. I usually do that with my Posca paint markers, but I had this tiny paintbrush, so I wanted to try it out. Just kind of made that faster. And then I blended it because I didn't really love it. So there it is. Trying to correct the quote mistake, but it all works out. And then I wanted to put a few more of these stencils in. Kind of bring it up into the corner there. Just felt like it stopped too quickly. This is one of my favorite stamps. It's just a little fern leaf. I've been very into nature themes, so it's one of my favorite to use. And I find using it with paint is a lot easier than with ink because it kind of gives a non-perfect print, which I like. This is another piece of deli paper that I made a jelly print on but I couldn't find a good spot for it. I was just looking for something to kind of put in the middle, a focal point. That's what I was trying to figure out. And I used the butterfly to kind of bring that nature theme together. Again, I'm using the gloss medium and putting it down. You can also use a gel medium because this is a little bit of a heavier paper. This is out of one of the scrapbook books that you can kind of use different things. And I would definitely use a heavier gel medium if you felt like it wasn't adhering down properly. It also had some sparkles on it, some glitter, which I'm not a big fan of. So I was trying to kind of dull that out. Just have it blend a little more with the background. And then, as usual, I changed my mind and didn't love the stencils up there. As you can see, it's all just a process of seeing what feels good, what you like. And I'm always going back over and seeing, oh, that looks good now, but I, did, I didn't like it before. So it's just kind of a back and forth. And I always count on how I feel when I look at it. Do I get that feeling of, ooh, I like that? Or do I kind of feel, hmm, not so crazy? So just creating a little white space. <clears throat> I'm just trying out a few different prints that I have, maybe another mark. And I found this other print, uh, deli paper, jelly print that I really like, different colors. Kind of brings the blue from the top down as well. So it feels a little more cohesive. And then I did a pretty thick layer of the medium on it so it would really stick to the paper and also wouldn't be so obvious that it was a collage paper. You can almost see it. Um, it doesn't really look like collage paper in person. It, it really blends in. So I was using this white to kind of soften the edge that didn't look so blended in. Because it looked really nice with that blue up top. And then I drew some words. I wrote some words on a piece of deli paper again. I love the deli paper because it's so easy to use and you can kind of create your own collage papers. So I just used a Posca paint pen and wrote those words and then adhered them down with the gloss medium. And I like using that spatula because it really gets it down. You can see it up close there. And that's it. That's the final piece. I probably will go back over it and just kind of add a few little marks here and there. I like to add a little bit of an edge to kind of bring it all together, a little black edge. So I hope you enjoyed 
watching this. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. I would love to see you another time. Take care and have a great day.